In other news, the Child Protection Center has released its yearly numbers for 2022. Since the pandemic, they found the calls continue to come in. KSHB 41's Caroline Hogan joining us now in the studio. And Caroline, how many children did the center serve over the last year? Cameron, they reported serving 839 children, which means 839 cases of abuse, which range from everything from physical to emotional or even just witnessing violence. But here are some of the more interesting points of the report. A note, they serve Jackson, Cass and parts of Lafayette counties. There were 29 accounts of strangulation, 27 reports of child pornography or sexual abuse material and close to 300 reports of some sort of witness to other abuse or violence. Now, comparatively, in 2021, the center served 859 children with significantly lower reports of strangulation and child pornography. Now, for how things are going this year, speaking to one of the forensic interviewers this week, she said if the numbers continue to go on this trend like we're seeing right now during January, February, March, they're on track to serve 1,000 children. Great in the sense that we are happy to provide the service. We are happy to make sure that kids feel heard, feel supported. But, you know, on a community wide level, that's really scary that that's a 20% increase in one year. Now, as we head into the summer, she said these numbers are likely to go down just because kids are out of school. There are fewer chances for other adults to help them, Cameron. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. And Caroline, with events like the draft coming through, do they have concerns about seeing more of these cases during that week? Well, frankly, we've never dealt with an event this big before, right? and they've never dealt with one. But she mentioned with Pat's events that we had, like the Super Bowl and the Royals parade, mm -hmm. they did see more calls come in just because of alcohol and lack of child supervision. So they don't necessarily expect the worst, but they are prepared. Thank you, Caroline. Caroline Hogan reporting for us this morning.